Good morning guys! Sorry for shouting, it's a bit noisy in his helmet this morning for some reason. It's, uh, it's a gorgeous Wednesday morning. It's currently 6.20 in the morning. And it's promising to be a glorious day, as you can see from that big yellow thing up there in the sky. It's going to be a glorious day all day, so I've decided to get up at daft o'clock in the morning, about half past five and go to the seaside but not my seaside we're going across the country and we're going to have a little trip to Whitby see what they've got to offer there I've um, I set off about five past six but I've just stopped 10 15 minutes away from home just to uh, just to turn all the camera equipment on etc I didn't really think this through because I'm heading east but early in the morning I'm driving straight into the sun not the best plan was it but anyway I'll switch you on uh, as much as I can while I make the journey across going up through the Yorkshire Dales straight across from Blackpool over to Whitby so we'll see what we can see on the way and I'll catch you guys later cheerio Well now guys, we're coming into the Dales. Look at this, stunning, absolutely stunning. Morning dew, cyclists to kill, birds are in the air, skip wagons in front. Yay! <laughs> he's got, he's got think pink. Why would you do that? Something stinks around here as well. I don't know if it's that skip. It's been muck spreading. This is a cool system as well. You can see that on the camera. It's got a little uh, little car system going up and down to the quarry. Nice. It's still early. It's uh, seven in the morning a few lorries we'll get past them very shortly oh there's a few mm. let's go down a few gears There's the next. Happy days. Clear road. Big dint in the road there. I'm taking you actually to, um, but not taking you. But we're going to be going on one of my uh, most favourite stretches of road. It's not a major one. It's not that well known. And it might not be liked by many other people, but um, I hope you can hear me. I've lost me, my little uh, dead cat thing off my microphone. So I've took you inside the the, um, the cheek pad, and hopefully, well, you'll be able to hear me now because I'm only going slowly. But yeah, I lost me me my fluffy thing off my microphone. I'll have to get some more. Well, it's no good when you're trying to squeeze your face into your helmet and there's bits of wires and microphones and 
all sorts of shit hanging about. But yeah, we're going on uh, one of my favourite little bits of road. Very tight and twisty. I can't remember the name of it. It's a B something something something. I'll see if I can find it. Stick it somewhere on the screen. Um, and it's lovely, but last year they, they put down that... You know where they, they, they put tar down and then they chuck gravel on top and stick it all together? They did that last year and it was horrible. All year. Bits of gravel everywhere. This is a lovely little village. This is Hornby. Lovely little place. to get a move on again. It is difficult riding into the sun all the time. Oh look, more freaking lorries. I don't know if there's much chance of getting past these two. Not on this stretch. We're screwed for a while, but look at that! Look at the lorry Jones, but look at the scenery as well. Isn't that amazing. Look at that. Right, I'm going to switch you off for a couple of minutes while we get past. Uh, well, while we're stuck behind these lorries, I'm stuck behind these lorries for a while now, so I'll come back to you. Welcome back. We got past the lorries, no problem. Now this is that little, uh, that little road I mentioned. It starts off fairly sedate at first, but it's got some lovely little um, twisty bits in it. Just I don't know. It just it just flows. Unlike me, I had a few. Uh, few beers in the garage last night they were watching crap on telly and uh, I don't know if anybody well I suppose a lot of you will just sat in the garage just staring at the bike she thinks I'm fucking bad she thinks I'm a proper nut job but I don't know that's what I like doing you think oh Look at that there, I wonder what that does, and then you go and find out, and then you'll clean something, or you'll think, oh, what can I add next? That's freaking great. It's nice and quiet. I've even put, I've got a fridge in the garage as well now, so. Ooh, where are you going? I've got a fridge in the garage as well now. So I don't even have to go back to the house for a beer. Might get a little porta potty as well. <laughs> uh, that'll really stop me having to go back to the house. I mean, look at this, it's freaking brilliant. Especially at this time of day. Uh, keep your eye out for tractors, but that's about it. And fans. That's it, into North Yorkshire. What a beautiful way to do it. Absolutely love this road. 
absolutely love it. There you go, that's where we are. Burton in Lonsdale. Go and check this road out. It's a great road. Is it? Burton in Lonsdale though is a very quiet little village. And they don't like motorbikes. That's why they put 20 mile an hour signs everywhere. And speed humps. I've often wondered what that hill is there with a fire pit on top of it next to the church <laughs> I wonder if they used to like, burn witches there or something <laughs> strange thing lovely church though lovely village I'll stop chunnering and I'll catch you on the next bit Okay guys, we're about half an hour away. Uh, fairly uneventful, we're on the A172 at the minute. We had a short spell on the A19. That was quite nice, a nice smooth road. I sorted Google out, pain in the arse. Just goes to show you're pretty screwed when uh, When you haven't got a phone signal, and you come across a closed road, can't beat paper maps. Yes, it is. Uh, this is going to be it now. This is going to be the road in. Can't see it changing. Again, very pretty. Fifth exit, oh wow, oh, we're turning right. <coughs> Pardon me. It's already reached 22 degrees. What time is it? It's nine o'clock in the morning. Just gone. 22 degrees now. So it's going to be a scorcher today. I'm glad I set off when I did. Still got the journey back, but at least I'll not be doing it in the middle of the afternoon. That's an ugly car, isn't it, that? An X4. This is a national speed limit guys, what the hell are we doing at 45 miles an hour? Oh look, beach signs, welcome to Redcar and Cleveland. It really is a nice part of the world, especially when the sun's out. I think it'll look quite the same when it's raining. going to see what happens after this roundabout but 40 mile an hour in a national is uh, a bit too slow Nunthorpe it's 
Which way is he going? No, he's going that way, we're alright. Be there in no time! This next bit is going to be very exciting for you guys. So, I'll catch up with you when we get to the seaside. In a bit. Bit of Portland. Literally minutes away. Oh, there, I could see the sea. Can you see the sea, children? Oh, not from there, you can't. Just over there. See it on this next crest. There you go. There's the sea. Great. All we need to do now is find a beach. Give me half a rest. Telling me to turn right there. She was a bit in front of herself. might do this route again. It's been lovely. I think the weather's made it what it is. That doesn't make any sense, does it? But definitely the, the, the weather's made it a lot more enjoyable than it usually would be. If it was drizzly or something like that, it'd be a, an awful journey. You'd just be miserable and cold, wouldn't you? Because you're exposed on most of this ride on the moors, etc. Bit of shit. So yeah, picked a great day. Oh, now you can, now you can definitely see the sea. There you go. Whitby awaits. Let's see if we can't get a bacon sandwich and a tea. Then I best give the wife a ring and tell her where I am. <laughs> Why is it we have to sneak out? Well, not sneak out. She knew I was coming out. But we have to leave at daft o'clock in the morning so that we're back in a reasonable at a reasonable hour in the afternoon so they can spend some time with us. 
Um, oh. I try and do the right thing, but sometimes I think oh, I don't want to have to get up at half past five in the morning, so I'm back at three in the afternoon. I want to get up at seven in the morning and get back at six. Going to a little place called Sands End. I'm not going into Whitby Town itself. That's going to be rammed. But this is uh, this is lovely down here, isn't it? Look at that. It's like being on your holidays. Beautiful. Oh, it looks busy already. I can see all the reflections from all the cars. But yeah, absolutely stunning. We need to find a petrol station. Filled up yesterday. What have we done? We've done six miles on reserve tank. Yeah. That's it. We've arrived. Hope you've enjoyed the journey, chaps. And we'll catch you on the next one. Check it easy.